Hello everybody, it's Mike Gore here from Open Doors Australia and I wanted to take a couple of moments to share a little bit of a reflection on the persecuted church and COVID-19 and then maybe we can pray together. I'm sure many of you will know from all of the work that Open Doors Philippines has been doing that persecution for Christians is increasing every year. And for some people they might think, well COVID-19, is that making life better or worse for Christians? Well, in many parts of the world, it is much more difficult for Christians. In parts of Asia, we're hearing stories where Christians are some of the last to receive medical treatment or help when it comes to COVID-19. But then if you jump across to the Middle East for a moment, we're hearing stories whereby Christians, doctors and nurses, they're the ones being forced to staff the COVID-19 wards and often without personal protective equipment. For us, we might go, hey, that's a beautiful thing. Christians are getting to serve those in, who are sick within the community. But actually, it's coming from a far different heart. In fact, most of the government's authorities would say that Christians, in their view, are expendable. In fact, if you get COVID-19 as a Christian and you die, that's okay. So therefore, we're going to make you work in these clinics and these wards. See, what looks as, a, I guess, an act of service to the outside world is anything but that. It's actually people saying, you're expendable. And if you get it, it's okay for you to die. In other countries in the Middle East, where we've heard of minimum security prisoners being released, well, we've actually heard that Christians are not being released because again, the authorities say, well, we'll prefer that you die. So if you get COVID-19 in prison and you pass away, well, that's an okay. And again, they're expendable in that sense. So is COVID-19 making it more difficult for Christians around the world? It is desperately uh, making it more difficult and we need your prayers and so today I thought we could pray together for Christians who are suffering in the face of the COVID-19 pandemic so would you join me as we pray Father we come before you today and we thank you for the great privilege it is to serve you and to know you and we lift up the global body of Christ Christians and followers of Jesus the world over who today are really wrestling with the fear of this COVID-19 pandemic First and foremost, Father, we ask that you'll bring healing, restoration, get rid of COVID-19 and the coronavirus, Lord. We believe that you're a God who can heal and restore. And so, number one, we ask that you would remove this virus from the world. But then we also pray for Christians who are experiencing persecution, people who are being restricted access to health care, forced to work in medical clinics with no uh, form of protection. Lord, we ask that you would be with them, that you would protect them from this virus, that you would give them the ability to serve. And more than that, for Christians the world over, that we might find a deeper faith in you. Lord, we pray this all in the wonderful name of Jesus. Amen. So my hope is that that's been a time where you can learn from the persecuted church. Please do all you can to support Open Doors Philippines. And together, we can help people follow Jesus all over the world, no matter the cost.